are these people? This is the this is the role that was literally written for this guy right here. Yeah. Um, Holy fuck, man. Don't use chat GPT. We will immediately qual disqualify you, which we love. First off, how do you know? <laughs> like, are you are you expecting people to be like, hello, I am applying to this job. I am using chat GPT. Like, what? Holy oh, shit. What is this meme? Oh my god. So it's Chad, don't use chat GPT. We look forward to seeing your, your motivational letter, which needs to be included. Not a cover letter, but a motivational letter. And a link to your mm -hmm. recorded video, which is also part of the application. They want a whole bunch of stuff. Eight-hour shift, Monday through Friday, weekends as needed. Thanks. I'm not crazy about that, but flexible schedule. All right. Work from home. We love that. 40 hours per week. Decent. All right. Taylor made for this guy because it's psychology and life coach background. Womp womp. What? Yeah. The yeah. fuck is that? Like, guys. This is specifically. There, it's it's a bit worse when you really look into the details because, like, twelve dollars an hour is not even like you're breaking the fucking law this was specifically posted in ontario my province in canada um you can't work for 12 dollars an hour anywhere that's not minimum wage so right off the bat your range his whole range actually is lower than minimum range but that, that they immediately doubled it to twenty five yeah. an hour, which was six, which was a thousand a week or four thousand a month, and just gave you a yeah. monthly rate to work from home. But it's still like, like it's a forty hour week position, but it's a salaried position effectively at that point at a thousand dollars a week, even though that's not enough to really qualify it to be a salaried position. I, I could easily see them demanding that you work weekends for that thousand dollars a week. On top of the five day a week, 40 hour that you're. Um, wow. Write a motivational letter addressing the following questions that they're giving you a scenario. How would you encourage a client to revise a poorly drafted letter to his wife? Okay. Well, these are psychology and life coaches. So interesting yeah, questions. I, I answer those and they are obviously pretty impressed, but it's like, you know, of course you're pretty impressed because like the people who, and this is my dumb ass. I missed that. I missed the range. Um, when I applied mm. for it, cause I, I assumed, okay, CSM with psychology background, that's gotta be at least, at least 60 K minimum, like at the low ball. Um, I didn't expect it. That's why I asked him if it was a typo. Cause I was like, <laughs> that has to be a typo. There's, there's no way you're asking me to work like below minimum wage and have a psychology degree on top of the CSM. Like, no, get the fuck out of here. That's not a thing. And it was a thing. And then they're like, we reviewed it internally. And it turns out that we have no idea what we're doing. And uh, we're going to double the role. And even still, by the way, for everybody, um, the bare entry entry minimum um for a csm role is 50k a year um that's 50k a year you know american entry so, with no experience yeah like as, as in like like you're you're green as hell um that's the wow. minimum even with them doubling it that still comes out to like i think I 40 48k a year so it's still lower than most people look at so of course they were impressed because they were like oh wow well um oh, i'm no. sorry man this is the company oh, no no i gotta see it yeah Let's you gotta see it marriage. we've helped hundreds of husbands turn around their marriage even when their marriage was on the brink of divorce or the divorce had already been filed. Have you tried going to therapy? You're a successful man. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. Programs. <laughs> The website's amazing. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Quit uh, porn bass? No. Oh, oh. What? God. What? The HCT oh. method, the habit construction therapy. Wait. Are they repurposing act? What is this? Oh my god, look at that! They use the fucking dials! Oh no! They use the dials on the website. Bro. I'm dying I'm I'm dying right now. I'm absolutely I'm so glad oh, to tell people, no. but dopamine okay, hold on. What is dopamine just oh, oh okay, that's the that's this oh uh, wow. so this is the biggest misunderstanding about psychology ever dopamine discipline okay if you're addicted to porn or anything else that produces dopamine you probably have adhd first of all because <laughs> adhd in and of itself is a is a like dopamine deficiency thing um marriage mastery <laughs> I'm looking at it now. We help men save their marriage despite relationship challenge, infidelity, or divorce. Dude, divorce this, is fucking, this is incel shit. Oh my god. Okay, quote, direct quote from this fucking site. Most men turn to logical solution strategies to fix an emotional problem. Doing chores, taking her on dates, coming home early from work, trying to talk about the problems, seeing a counselor. Most of these marriage fix solutions are often counterproductive because most wives consider these, in caps, manipulation. <laughs> no, you fucking idiot. That's how you figure your shit out. There trying to talk about the problems is bad. Who's going to be like, oh, no, you're manipulating me because... You want to hear why I'm upset and figure out a way to fix it. Well, therapists are often caught playing referee between spouses who are subconsciously trying to appease the counselor. This is their rationale for that. Uh, okay, so an important caveat. That only happens in a scenario when one of those people is disordered and needs specific <laughs> individual counseling. Validation. Because Right, from a third party that they're that they're not the crazy one, I guess. But if your wife doesn't work on it, traditional therapy has almost no chance of saving it. Why? Because she's checked out. There's is nothing a therapist can do. Is this you need apologia to. for narcissistic abuse? Is this for like I think so. Dude, look at this. Expert team of coaches. License. It's, it's literally... You know what this is? It's going to be like, all right, all right, King, here's how you gaslight your lady into not packing up and leaving. Coach here's Rock. You... Oh, wait, it's Rock. Yeah, the Rock. The Rock says, just... know your damn role and shut your mouth. No, oh, you can't say that in marriage counseling. Well, oh, you probably word. can according to their shit. By the way, none of their links work. I don't know what's going on. Come on. Oh, no. Click their Facebook. Jo Josh. Wait. Their Facebook doesn't work? No, their Instagram doesn't work. Their Facebook. I don't. I have no words for this. What the fuck is going on here? No post since 2021. So that's <laughs> e the red flag. Red flag. Okay, so you're not on Facebook. Um, your Instagram link is broken. It, it's the Josh's personal shit. Uh, they do have a YouTube for this whole marriage. One of mastery. the hardest battles you will ever fight, bro. INN, wow, I'm so, this is, this is sad because we don't get this many views on our shit. Do these and regain her heart. Nine months ago. See, that's so funny. He, 
This guy's just sitting back and collecting bank off of the shit, too. That's the funny thing. He's already got 8,200 followers. All right. Good on him, man. He's... He's, this he's, is literally just like women are evil. Every single video is just women are evil. And now he's paying fifteen dollars. Now he's paying twelve dollars an hour. Nice upstanding yeah. guys, dude. Look yeah, at how probably. angry. Look at how angry these guys look. <laughs> dude, they look like. Tell me that doesn't look like like a classic like Republican offspring. Dun like, dun dun. Kids. Yeah. That's like a bunch of poor, abused Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. Is this one working? So that's his Instagram. Nope. Not like you said. His Insta's broken. Um, I'm afraid. Be afraid. No LinkedIn page for a legitimate, respectable company. Are they on TikTok? Yes, he is. Follow me on TikTok. Is it just one guy? I don't think this is a company. I think it's just this one dude. <laughs> it's just the dude. Bro, how are you this down bad? The man she hate Nice guy habits that are making her leave. Oh my god. Why is there such a market for people who refuse to just go to get fucking therapy? I will never understand it. It's like, bro, you guys are disordered. Like, just go work your shit out, and then you'll wow. be happy. Wow. Wow. Look at the, must the cop mustache. Why is this not Over playing? Contact. It's not playing. For some reason. Nice guy approach doesn't... Guy approach... So be an asshole. I mean, here's the thing. I feel like if you're like, here's always been my take on like nice guys or whatever. I think, and I'll, I'll say, I completely think this about my wife. Um, I, I think the majority of women have like way better in sync when it comes to men. Like, my buddy Chris said this, but, like, you know that that motherfucker isn't real girl on the plane? That, like, <laughs> memeing thing that we already saw? Um, <laughs> that he was motherfucker like, is not yeah. real, bro. That's just... My buddy Chris said, like, I would have been off that plane so fast because my wife's, like, I trust her gut more than mine. And it's, like, <laughs> abso fucking absolutely same. If if my wife was like, that's a lizard, I'd be like, all right, I, yep, yeah, all right, we're leaving. Um, we're getting off the plane. I, yeah. My point is, I think women just have, like, very, very good natural instinct. And I think, like, I think nice guys or p men who are nice, I don't think that's what puts them off. I think that's, I think what puts them off is they sense that that person isn't actually a nice guy and they're, like, putting on an act. I think that's what susses people out. I think the biggest problem in interpersonal relationships by far is that it's one person detecting that another person isn't being authentic and it just comes off that way. It's it's very, like, you kind of feel it too. You kind of feel it in your gut where you're like, I feel like this person isn't really acting like genuine, like how they normally act. I think that's the biggest problem. It's people who are trying to be nice people and they're like, I'm a nice person. Why isn't this working? And it's like, because you're not actually a nice person. You're just putting it on and you're hoping to get this person so invested that then you can be shitty later. Um, anyway. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, so just to remind people why we were begging on this company, um, Pinnacle of Man, they are hiring for a very pretty specific position and they want you to do a whole lot of work to do so and they're offering a measly 12 to 15 90 per hour for full-time work okay well well fuck dude after checking out that website with you like bro I'm, I'm glad i'm glad like they're offering that little 
Josh. Because there is no way I'm going to get along with any of these fucking idiots. Josh, I'm a word of advice. Back. If this ever makes it back to Josh Hudson, my word, bro. Start paying, first of all. Get your LinkedIn shit fixed. Um, Josh has helped thousands of men completely transform their lives. Like, this feels like a Jordan Peterson kind of dude. Like, this guy it's wants to be Jordan Peterson all day. Absolutely, absolutely the same vein. It's the yep. same vein. He's just another guy who's sitting there saying, like, well, no, you don't need to take any personal accountability. What you really need to do is blame everybody else for your problems. That's It's the same shit, 100%. Oh. I certainly um, encourage guys who are in a marriage to work on their marriage, and it it is a noble cause that he's trying to manipulate you into doing. But um, Y'all, I'll make it really simple for you from someone who has a fucking degree in this. Just go to therapy. If you okay, need this guy, hurt, you're done. Need... If you yeah. need this guy, you're already done. <laughs> Sorry. You're not going to be a less of a man. In 9 out of 10 cases, what's going on is you've got a lot of unprocessed trauma, probably from your childhood, um, that you need to actually face. And the reason you're scared to face that is you're afraid that a lot of things will occur because of that as a man who's gone through this process myself went through therapy for years on my end um i promise you nothing bad's gonna happen in fact your whole fucking life is gonna change you're just gonna work through your demons and work through your shit so that you are the best version of yourself for another person that's how you save your marriage it's not figuring out these weird like huckster tactics of like oh actually I'm here's why you need to hear that everything else is actually their fault and you are not accountable for anything and blah, blah, blah. There's a whole industry on like shirking accountability and blaming like your wife or your partner or whatever for essentially what are your flaws. And <clears throat> you, the actual manly thing to do is to be, is would be to embrace those flaws and be like, you know what? I got some, I got some work to do. I'm kind of fucked up. I'm going to go figure it out. <laughs> Boom. That's what an actual uh, man does. Went from let's get a divorce. Look at this. Went from let's get a divorce to it was all my fault. And you're the love of my life. It's literally exactly what you're just saying. So <laughs> meet Jake. No. Meet Jake, dude. Oh my God. I fucking. <laughs> oh, man i paid way too much attention in school <laughs> holy uh, shit well I read that one. Oh no wife oh, wanted no. the horse was having an open emotional affair with another man if seven weeks we ended hooking up seven times in the next seven days um okay by, emo by okay I'll, I'll tldr this by open emotional affair with another man what that really means is he didn't allow her to have male friends. That's all that mm. means. Mm. That's all that means nine out of ten times. Um, it's an open emotional and probably because the man wasn't available to begin with. And so this is basically a testimony of like, these guys helped me re-ensnare her because she was trying to get her needs met from other people because I wasn't meeting those needs. Here's which I another one. As their fucking husband. Oh my god. She already accepted a proposal from another man. But only a week later, but only weeks later, she decided to block him and move back in with her husband. Whoa. Okay, first off, Cap. That's so Cap. That that didn't happen. That never happened. This is this is a and everyone clapped kind of moment. There's no way she accepted a proposal from another man. And then was like, you know what, JK, I, I'm gonna. What? I gotta. I I kind of gotta go through this just just to go through this now. Like, oh. this guy's got some magic stuff. Look at this. Wow. Good, good, good on you, Josh. If this is real, second marriage, escaping into addictions. I saved my marriage. Here's Joe. I saw all the holes in my boat and became a better man. A ma Joe, Josh gave a magic wand to win back my fiance. Wait a minute. 
A vibrator is all it took? Come on. Right? Come on, um, man. I don't know if that's necessarily the magic wand that he's talking about, but I tried therapy and it didn't um, work. Hi, Joe. Uh, hi, yeah, hi but, Julia. It's me, Joe. See, I need Reef with the sound bites here because Reef would be all over this and it would be very funny, but... Um, yeah, but Julia. the thing is, like, the, you got to be open to the therapy. You got to be actually willing to be accountable and, like, self-reflect. If you go to therapy and you're just expect, expecting someone to, like, validate you and tell you, like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with you. It's actually everything else and you're perfect, then, of course, it's not going to work because you're not looking to actually better yourself. You're going to therapy because you're trying to figure out a better way on how to, like, game your partner or whatever. So, yeah. Okay, so now, like, it's the same thing where... It's up there, but now it's like, oh, on top of that, she was seeing another dude. Wife wanted to divorce yep. again, and here's here's another. We went on a trip, and she left me. Oh, that sucks. Take her yeah, on vacation and get blown out. Yeah, because that totally happens. Um, Look, what year are these from... It's fun. I hope I hope you guys are having fun with this. I'm having fun doing this and looking up stuff and ragging on jobs and venting and this is like therapy. I we we need this. <laughs> Hopefully not you guys the do too. Of mankind. Pinnacle of man. No, yeah, not not the kind like Josh is like Josh is doing. But good on anyone that's been healed and cured by Josh Hudson, man. But Himbo's not if going I to work for you. Off. No, if I get an offer, I'm going to turn it down and be like, bro, I looked at your website and you guys are down bad. I'm sorry. I don't, unless you offer me a role where I can turn this bullshit around in a positive direction, there's no amount of money that you can pay me to work for this dumpster fire. <laughs> God damn. Wow. 